Hey y'all, Grandma Rose here. I haven't been on YouTube in about a week, at least a week, and I want to explain what's been going on. I promise you I haven't been slacking off. I've been really, really busy. Christmas is upon us, and I always make handcrafted gifts for, for Christmas. It's just, you know, it just means more to me, and it, apparently it means more to the people who receive the gifts that I make for them. And in the past several years, I've knitted people gifts. Now, I have been knitting, but I haven't been knitting enough to knit a gift for everybody on my Christmas list. So I decided this year to make jewelry. I've been making jewelry for years. But, you know, leather jewelry is really popular this year, and I know it has been for a while. And I have a whole lot of beads, and I had some leather. So I ordered some leather, and I've been working on, on Christmas gifts. And I want to show you what I've been doing. The, my uh, my book club, Knitting Crochet Club, has a Christmas party every year. I need to get a, get my act together because I don't have a gift ready. So I'm going to I'm going to make one of these bracelets that I've been making, and that'll be a perfect gift because the thing is, is there is a ten dollar limit, and a lot of the people I won't we'll say a lot of the people, but in the past there have been people in the in the group. Gotta fly, goodness. In the past, there have been people in the group that really didn't have a whole lot of money, and to to make you know, to, to give no limit whatsoever on, on the price of the gift made it hard for some people because they would feel like they were uh, competing with other people who might be able to uh, might be able to afford a larger gift. So instead of doing that, we decided to make a really small, next to nothing gift, and and if you, we have to go under ten dollars. There are things that you can get for ten dollars, like there's you know like cooking supplies. Sometimes you could get a I, one. Good heavens, dog! The dog pushed this. Uh, one year, somebody gave me a really nice baking pan, a specialty baking pan that was nice, and it was and I appreciated it. Haven't used it yet, but I, but I did. But I did appreciate it. It was a nice gift, and people have given books, you know, like a paperback book or something like that. Uh, that's hard to do because everybody has has a different, you know, different taste in, in their books. And one year I gave a pair of really nice, pretty stork embroidery scissors. If you're a sewer, you may have you may have seen these before. You know what I'm talking about? These weren't the expensive ones, but I was able to get a real pretty pair of embroidery scissors for less than ten dollars. Um, I have I have knit things because it's easy to buy a skein of yarn for less than ten dollars but then you knit it put your time into it and you have a nice gift for a little bit of money and this year I'm doing the jewelry because like I said I already have the beads on hand so that's gonna make it easy all I had to buy was some leather and that didn't cost very much and uh, a couple of buttons I'll, I'll show you what I have into it but all of the supplies except for the leather lace that I'm going to use no I'm taking that back. I already had the leather lace that I'm using to make this. So the only thing that I've had to purchase for this is a button. So I have maybe a dollar. And, well, the, overall, the cost of everything was probably close to $10. But as far as this year purchasing something, I have less than a dollar into this gift. So that makes me feel pretty good. And I'm going to take you along and show you what to do and how to do this. Because this is something you can make in an hour or so in the afternoon you could make as a last minute gift for a lady on your list or even a man on your list for that matter if you chose if you chose the right beads that were not that were not too feminine looking you know what I mean uh, I'll show you one that I feel like could be used for a man's gift uh, let me show you and I mentioned I haven't been on YouTube for a week and the reason is because I have been crafting gifts I've been making jewelry to give from my Christmas list. And as soon as I finish these, then I will be back. I have several videos that I still need to edit. And if I don't just get finished with what I'm doing, I can get lots of videos up. But right now, I'm focused and I feel like I really need to get this done because otherwise it's going to bother me. It's going to hang over me and I'm not going to enjoy the rest of the, the rest of the season knowing that I have things that I haven't finished. And one of these uh, packages has to go off in the mail. So that needs to be finished within the next week. 
and uh, the rest of them are for fur around here so I have a little bit more time on those but I want to be done I don't want to be working on Christmas gifts until Christmas Eve and I have done that before so let me turn the camera around and let you see what the gifts that I have already made and give you some ideas on things that you can do and one thing I'll talk to, I'll talk about uh, one of these that I've made is would be really appropriate for me to put in my Etsy shop and I might do that but I think what I would rather do is I have two of these charms left I'll show you when I get ready to do it I have two left so that means I can I can duplicate this this necklace two more times so if you would like for me to make one if you if you have to give a gift for somebody or you want one for yourself let me know just contact me or just respond in the comments below and uh, well we can get together and, and work out pricing on it I would rather I would rather do this uh, individually not on Etsy though I can I could do I could do this as a custom project for somebody and sell it on Etsy if that would be easier for you otherwise you can just send me something to my PayPal account and that would work too so let me let me get to this and show you what I've made and then I will move the camera into where I've got I have a camera set up where I'm able to um, to do this where you can actually see my hands what I'm doing in fact you probably saw me do that oh when I when I demonstrated how to fix something in knitting I used the same setup so let me turn this around let you see what I have done and then we'll go and I'm set up in my kitchen we'll go into the kitchen and you can see what I'm working on okay y'all let me show you this first this first necklace that I've made see this so what I have here is leather lacing it's real soft and pliable leather lacing it's a mother of pearl beads these are this is hand wrapped with sterling silver wire and then the lacing is split down here at the bottom and there's silver beads this is not just sterling silver beads, these are fine silver beads. So really, really nice sterling silver and leather and mother of pearl. The whole thing is about 52 inches long and it could either be worn as a choker with the ends, you know, wrapped around your neck and then hanging down and tied in the front or it can be dangled down as a longer necklace, How you know, however, the recipient wants to wear this. But I know who that's going to and I'm not telling. So that's the first thing I've made. And this is the next thing I've made. Let me unwrap this. Let me get the the same lacing. It's just leather lacing. Very, very. It's deer skin lacing. Actually, is what it's called. Very soft and pliable. You can see some of the. It's not suede. Can you see this? This is not suede, but it looks like this. It's like a necklace, like so. And then, so these are Baroque pearls. And then I've tied, I've made this with copper. So copper wire. And then a little bitty Baroque pearls on the ends of it. And that's about the same length as the other one. And I don't believe the recipients watch my videos. So I'm not, I don't, you know, and they're not going to know who got, who's going to get this either. So put that over there. Okay, let me get this out. Leave this out for a second. Just let me show you what I've done. I'll show you some more things in a second. But do you see the length of here, these, these beads, this is a, not quite as long. This is, I think, more the length of this. Let's see. Move that out of the way. Yeah, that's the same, that's the same length as that. You see that? This is Amazonite. These are some nuggets that I have that I've had for quite a while. The Amazonite, and I've made three of these like this, actually four. There's one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one that I have. I've put some leather on the end of it and just tied it tied it together, so it could be a, it could be a bracelet. And these are ones that have a lot of the different colors in it. And then I did one that is just a really pretty clear blue amazonite this is going to be a necklace this one is going to be made like this 
that's going to be made like that. Let me take undo this, and you can see. So I just had it tied on here, just to hold it together, and just to kind of look look at it and see, because these could make bracelets too, the same length. So there's there's this pretty Amazon knife. That's going to be a necklace made like this one. Pretty much just like that one, except it's going to be the blue beads instead of the mother of pearl. And I don't have any more of these fine silver beads. It's going to have to be pewter, but that'll be fine. So there's so that's one neck another necklace to be finished. And these two can be bracelets, or I can turn them into, into necklaces. Like you saw that one. Three of these. Aren't they pretty? So these are still works in progress. Let me move those, move those over there. Those are our works in progress that are moving out of the way. Now, the next thing that I've got, two more, ne three more necklaces that are made the same way. This one is just a little lariat. You see that? It's just a, a piece of leather, soft, the soft deer skin leather. And I've got it just tied in a knot to keep it together. And then, as you can see in the back side of it, let me have to move it here. Let's see here. Is that pretty? And again, these are, and this is upside down. That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be up there like that. There we go. That's what was wrong. I need, maybe I need to put a little bit of super glue on that to hold that in place if it's going to flop down like that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Maybe just a tiny little bitty drop of super glue right on the back of it where that wire, where the wire joins won't, will not show and it'll keep it from flopping over. So these again, these are hand wrapped with sterling silver wire. Just on a piece of leather, leather lace. And I have another one just like it. So there's a second one just like it. The same kind of lace. And then I have a third one that's on a stiffer piece of leather. Can you see this? And I don't know if I'll take that apart and, and use that for something else or if I'm going to keep that as that stiff piece of leather. It's pretty and it works. I like, I like the softer leather better, but this still is very, very pretty, and it's the same thing. These Baroque pearls, hand-wrapped with sterling silver. Isn't they pretty? Look at that. I just love them. I've had these for a long time. I bought these when I still lived in Memphis 11 years ago. That's how long these have been in my, in my stash, in my, my jewelry, in my not jewelry, but in my bead collection, to do something with one of these days, and this is the day. So that's out of the way. Now, let me see. Another neck. This is the necklace that I was talking about. No, this is not the necklace. This is another necklace. If I can get that to, to hang right. There we go. It hangs like that. With this ring like that, it's supposed to go that way, looking on at the narrow edge. You see that? So it's just a silver ring. I made that. I had sterling wire, and I twisted it and twisted it until I made a made ring out of it. And another brook pearl, and a little. This is called an opal. It's opal quartz. It looks like it looks like opal. Or it looks like uh, moonstone, very much like moonstone or opal. But it's a quartz. It's a quartz material. So it's also, you know, it's a natural gemstone, but it's not as pricey as opal or as moonstone. They're both pretty. They're both, they're both a little bit expensive. And this one finishes. I've just got a knot and a loop with another little pearl. So it just works it like that. 
that goes over that. This is the necklace I'm talking about, having ha having enough of these beads left over to make to make two more. I have two more of these beads. So I've got a little gold leaf and a little chick, a little baby chick. And there's a there's a hen and another pearl. And this says, if you can see it, read it. There you go. Chicken lady. So I have two more of these chicken lady charms. That's my limiting, that's what determines that I can only make two more because I only have two more of those left. I have plenty more of the other things, but only two more chicken lady charms. Now I could make the same necklace having like the mama hen in the middle. I also have roosters. So I could have the hen and the rooster and a couple of chicks. And I'll still put, put the little opal, the pearl, and the little... This one doesn't have an opal. This is the one that's got the leaf. Little pearl and little leaf. Another little pearl on the end of it. Like I said, comment, uh, comment down in the... Well, comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you would like for me to make you one. And we'll work, we'll work out how we're going to do it. If you want it, you don't have to buy it, of course. Now, bracelets. Let me show you the bracelets that I've been doing. These three. This is a black suede. And it's got a magnetic... Comes together. See that? And another one like it, but this one's bigger. You can see the difference. One's for men, the other's for a woman. And I have two like this that are braided, the same braid, except it's with a, a round leather cord. And again, two different sizes on those. And this one opens with this thing right here. And I don't have any more of those. I've used the only two that I had. I do have more of this of this class like that. Like this kind. Now this is the style of bracelet that I'm going to show you. And again, the same clasp. But look at these. See that? Have you seen these? They, they're popular, and you may have actually seen seen some of these made. I'm going to show you how to do that. So this one is with leather, leather on the outside, and then hematite for the shiny black stone. So I think this would work either for a man or a woman. And then I, these two. Are made with with the same with the same beads. This is called um, red agate, and this one has black or dark brown, dark 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 brown, not black. It's real dark chocolate brown on the outside, and this one has a tan. See the difference in the color? Put them like that. So dark chocolate brown, and that one has a tan, and these are finished with a a button, a button on the back of it, just a loop and a button, and I left an extra in case in case that was too small. And there's actually room here for so there's three places, and then whatever fits best, you clip off the rest of it. This one I made a little bit differently. So there's not I don't, I don't have three places on this one to open up. There you go. Just one. They're pretty. I love that. I don't know what, what the stone is, but I like it. It's kind of green. And again, with that, that's, this is with a suede, a suede edge. I like mm. that. And again, there's a button. And the loop, 
some kind of loop to close it like that and the last one is one that I just finished now this looks like turquoise but it's not turquoise it's a not an imitation well it's a natural stone but it's been dyed the turquoise color and I like that with the the turquoise color and the brown leather and then I put a star button on it so maybe somebody at West might enjoy that one.